Hello, Vera Shop. Here we are. We are live. My phone is going to fall. Let me know when. Hi, Kylie Smith. You're my first contestant. I'm going to clean my screen. I'm going to get all set up here. How is everybody doing on this beautiful Friday? Um, we'll let a few more people join in, have some fun together. Um, where are you guys right now? If I can ask a group question. Um, where is what I'm looking for here? Do, do, do. How are we doing? Hello for everyone who's joining. Um, Hello, hello. Okay, 6.02, should we start talking or should we wait for a few more people to join? A few more people, hi Michelle, Kylie, Kathy, Kirsty. Hi, are most of you guys in New York or where are you based currently or watching from? Oh my God, look at these flyaways, damn, ooh. Um, oh my gosh, excuse me, face plant right there. So I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, oh, on the West Coast, San Diego, LA. Very nice. I hope it's a little bit sunnier and warmer there. Um, welcome to my live and welcome. Vestry says hello. She's just had a very eventful day, so she's very tired. Um, oh, Buffalo. Okay, so today, so for actually this week, I have been sharing on Instagram and on Verishop some of the products that I actually discovered on Verishop that have really been nice, kind of like calming Zen products. Personally, it's been chaotic kind of fall, um, back to work, whatever that means, back to school. I think I've moved like three times, which at this point has my head spinning, but what can you do? And I have been finding I don't sleep my best when I have a lot going on and I'm busy and I'm sure many people can relate to that. So I discovered some products and some methods and techniques that I would like to share with you that I really find have helped my sleep, my concentration, kind of helped me zen out, let's say. So um, let's start. One thing that I've learned, this is something Kevin and I both do, you know, as an athlete, he is someone that's in an ice tub all the time after practicing game for inflammation. But something that we both learned is actually if you take a warm bath, and let me tell you, I was not a bath person. I've always been kind of like, eh, like I don't feel like it. It's not that fun. Why wouldn't I just take a two minute shower instead? But I'm telling you, if you fill your bathroom, your bathtub with warm water, this is one of my new favorite pro products. It's bath oil. You put this in, I'm telling you, you're going to come out of the bath with like the smoothest, most hydrated, like luxury feeling skin. And in the winter, we all get drier than ever. So this is a great warm you up after a long day. I remember being a kid and playing soccer and getting like freezing and having to come home and kind of warm up. So draw yourself a bath. Maybe it's the afternoon. Maybe it's the evening. Put some oil in it. This stuff, I'm telling you, it leaves your skin feeling so good. And same company, bath salts. So Epsom salts, always good. So with the two of these together, my bath smells lovely. It feels lovely. I get in, I light some candles and I added to my live stream now. So if you can see the items that I add to purchase, the dog is cute. She would like to apparently. So, okay. She wasn't close enough beside me on the chair. She used to be on my lap. Okay. Excuse me, darling. We're talking. Um, so between those two, your skin feels amazing. You have Epsom salts. It helps with kind of bloating and, and uh, water retention. So you kind of calm. And I honestly really think it calms your nervous system. So when I'm really stressed, I find I get kind of like wiry or like uh, 
almost like jittery. Mm. Oh, excuse me, phone and dog problem. Um, and I just find if you take a bath, it really calms your nerves. So on top of the oil and the salt, turn all the lights out in the room, light a candle. And I, oh, that's what I was saying. I added actually to this shop live stream some products that I also love that like candles that really help set the mood. I added just a few things that I have um, an incense holder. And if you do a, an incense and you have the fragrance in the room, you have the candles, we're building an ambiance, an atmosphere here. And you don't have to be at a spa. You don't have to get out of your house. The bath is 20 minutes. Set your phone alarm for 20 minutes in the bath. Put on an audiobook or a podcast or, or read a real book. Just be careful with the water. And just zone out for 20 minutes. Gives yourself the 20 minutes. And I swear to you, you will sweet sleep way better. Like do this at night. Make it a, an evening wind down routine. I also added in the shoppable pieces in my life that I have the Actinacre hair mask. I like to sometimes do a little mask while I'm in the bath. So I feel like I'm extra kind of helping myself out. Um, I put the, the Barbra Storm lip balm on. So kind of like any little piece that's just going to make me feel luxurious and, you know, like I'm, I'm a fresh newborn baby when I get out. Um, and like, I did do it yesterday and I do feel like my hair is looking very nice. So you should check out that mask. So bath, candles, incense, body oil, like bath oil, bath salts, all amazing. Do it try it, report back to me. I want to hear because I swear to you, this has made a huge difference for me. Secondly, another thing that I've been really loving, I have my handy dandy little milk frother here. I put some oat milk in there and I've been really into, these are Four Sigmatic. Um, I have a few different options. There's Perform, there's Calm, there's Energy. Oh my God, excuse me. Sorry guys. Um, keyboard excuse me there we go we're back um i put these in the milk and then froth it and this is something you can do there's like perform or function you can do in the morning or more maybe more calm steam the milk and then this is my new little tea and saucer i've been loving make this in the morning or in the evening have it with me when i'm watching a show I'm actually watching the squid game right now. So I need the calming to help release the stress that that show causes. So have your little cup of tea, steam your milk, enjoy. I think you can have little moments, but if you light a candle and dim the lights and kind of put on maybe like classical music or just some sort of calming music that you like, it can really help calm your entire nervous system, which will sort of put you into like a meditative state. And then you can Focus on your like to-do list of the day or stop focusing on what you have to get done and just rest and take a minute to yourself and, you know, immerse yourself in an, an audio book, a podcast, a, a real book, uh, whatever you need just to like close your eyes and zen out. So I'm just about steamed here. Let me tell you. Ready? Oh, Beautiful. See how nice is this? I've got my candle. Get a puppy too, guys. Complete the trifecta. Candle. So I've got my nice fragrance. This is even at my desk. So this can be a morning routine. I ended up doing perform because I do have to go to a basketball game after this. So I'm going to be up late. So mm -hmm. a little tea, a little something. And what I would like to share now is today we are doing a giveaway. It's really exciting. I'm going to give away all three items and all you need to do is tune in. So if you're already watching, great. So just leave a comment. Um, I'm noticing your questions. I'm going to the Cavaliers uh, home opener. Let's go Cavs. Um, any comment? Yeah, leave any comment. I will read your comments though. So let me know. You can also ask me questions. Feel free if you have any questions about anything I'm talking about, um, about any of the products, about any products I've recommended before. Um, thank you. I do feel like my hair is having a great moment right now. You never know. But I do think when you do the, na the mask the night before, it makes a big difference. So maybe you make this routine, you know, your little tea, your little bath, candles, incense, 
And this doesn't have to be like an entire day. If you have kids, if you have a busy schedule, if you have a lot going on, just ask for 20 minutes, run your bath, light the candles and just lock the door and put on a sound of your scene so you don't hear anyone and just take 20 minutes to yourself. That's all you need for the hair mask. That's all you need to kind of like reset. And I swear to God, I sleep like a lump in my bed after I do this. Like it makes a massive difference on my sweep sleep quality. I actually have something called Aura Ring and I wear it and I track my sleep every night. So it tells me how much deep sleep I have, how many, how much REM sleep, how many times I woke up. And every time we take a bath at night before bed, 100% your sleep is better. So fit that into your schedule. Maybe it's Sundays, maybe it's Tuesdays. I don't know, whenever it works. Um, the hair mask is safe for color treated in hair. Yes, I'm reading a question here and my hair, I have highlights and um, toner every other time. And I do the mask, yeah. I actually sometimes, so my hair naturally is quite um, frizzy, curly, wavy, huge messy and I find with that mask if I actually do like shampoo and conditioner and then just put like a dime size I have a lot of hair so dime size on this much hair in my hair I don't rinse it out and I leave it and I really find that is when I get my best curls also because that mask it's like light enough but maybe creamy enough that it just kind of gives my wave curls it takes the frizz away and leaves them in like their smoothest curl zone or I'll do a more intense mask, jump in the bath, bath for 20 minutes, rinse it out after, and then my hair just feels real nice and soft. Because I think as many, I really love long hair, but those ends get dead. So treating them as best you can and kind of giving them the extra hydration so they live as long as possible is kind of ideal. Um, does anyone have any more questions about any of the products or things that I'm talking about? I'll kind of do a little rewind and we'll start back in square one. I think I'm maybe talking in a really calm and alluring way that has put my dog to sleep. So do you use CBD to help sleep? So yeah, you can also get um, CBD bath bombs or CBD bath salts that can be really nice. I think CBD is meant to help with inflammation outside of the body if you immerse yourself in it, but you can also take CBD supplements that I think are spells to kind of help with inflammation inside of your body. I am all for trying kind of anything to make myself feel better or physically, emotionally, mentally, you know, like if it's natural and, and why not, I'm, I'm all for trying those things. And I do really like CBD products. There's a brand called Feelist that makes a really good, um, it's, I think it's the strongest CBD cream that I found and I do definitely notice it kind of like helps muscles like calm and almost tingle a little bit, which is a nice thing. But mostly, you know, whether you had a really busy day working out or maybe you sat at your desk all day and your just back hurts, take a bath. I'm telling you, I wasn't a fan of baths until I realized the difference this makes. Bath oil, you can chop both of these if you just swipe up on my options right now. Um, bath oil and bath salt. You can also see the bath that I made on my Instagram or on my Vera shop page. So you can kind of get a sense of the, the vibe I create. I would have done it in the bath, but too dark. So couldn't have seen it. Um, I really, really love these bath oil is something I had never tried before I found this one. And it's really just, it leaves your skin so hydrated and me of all people, I'm dry anyways, but in the winter when it's cold and brittle outside, my hands, my feet, everything is dry. So bath oil, game changer, add it to your bath. Makes the experience more luxurious. Also bath salts, Epsom salts, I'm a big believer. I really think they help calm your body, calm your nervous system and give you the best sleep you can ask for. This is Cinnamon Projects, it's an incense holder. I think it's very cute, I was very excited about it. It's something I did discover at Vera Shop and I'm a big fan of this brand now. Um, I put a link to some incense holders from cinnamon and a couple of their different fragranced incenses. Cause I just, incense really creates a mood and really is calming. And I really love just turn all the lights off in your bathroom, have just some candles and some incense, your oil, your Epsom salts, give yourselves the 20 minutes just to calm. Um, secondly, Another Instagram slash bear shop that you can check out that I've done recently was this tea. 
I have my milk frother and I did put one also in the select section that they have available at Vera shop. So there is a milk frother that's really easy. You can travel with it, throw it in your bag. That's a good option. This is for Sigmatic. They have perform, they have stress relief, calm. So whether you want to do it in the morning or at night, I just mix that with some oat milk and some water, foam it up. And this, come on, I'm at my desk. I have my candle. I have my tea. I have my four sigmatic calming version. It's just such a nice way to start your day. I think sometimes we drink a lot of coffee when we're exhausted because we think it'll give us energy, but sometimes you just need that sustained, more stable energy. And I think something like this can really do that for you and give yourself the candle and the calming tea instead of 800 coffees, which like I'm totally guilty of sometimes too. I just have been really trying to kind of take note of how I feel when I try different things. And I think this is a really good way to kind of still have the sustained energy, but be a little bit calmer. Um, I see someone also added the Terry towel robe. So I am a big fan of a robe. I have a hooded robe. It's short. It's cute. I added it here. So when I'm taking my bath, you know, I feel like I'm at the spa. I think anything you can do to sort of make your home feel like a getaway is amazing. And this is not a huge time consuming event, but you know, wrap yourself in a robe, light some candles, light some incense. It's a dream. Um, does anyone have any questions? Make sure that you leave a comment so you can comment by asking me. I see someone's asking about the color of the robe. I have white. I just like white because I also, you can do the Tide Whitening plus OxyClean, and then your robe is like bleach white every single time, and it's just so fresh and clean, and it feels so, I don't know, spa-like, I guess, having a really fresh white terry towel robe. Um, so to enter the giveaway, we have three items we're giving away, the tea and saucer, the oil, and the salt. These are everything that you need to get this bath started, a calming day. Um, no purchase necessary. The winners are selected at random. All you need to do is be watching the live right now and submit a comment. So let's do it. Ask me some questions, whatever you guys want to know. I'm here. They can be about anything. Um, the odds of winning are all going to depend on how many people leave comments. So get in there. You might have good odds. Um, and Vera Shop's going to select the winner once the live is over. So you have just until the end of the, the live stream to enter the contest. Um, what other questions might we have, guys? Isn't this fun? Um, I would say the robe is terry towel. I, I think of as both. I use it in both seasons. I picked the short one, so maybe that's less wintry, but... Um, I like the short one. I don't know. I do just wrap myself, even if I'm wearing pajama pants under it, I just find a robe is really cozy and I like it. So any season you want. I just find a lot of lit candles in a room makes a room feel cozy, although they do not, I guess, add that much heat, but they just make everything feel kind of cozier. And then wrapping yourself in a big plush robe is always a nice step. Um, in case you are tuning in now and you missed the beginning, um, please meet Bestry, my sleeping puppy on my lap. Um, I wanted to share with you that I think if you want to get the best sleeps of your life, and I think we all struggle with sleep. I think this is such a common question that comes up in every different walk of life, whether you're a busy mother, father, daughter, student, someone busy with work. If you just have a million things going on, I think we all do now at this point, whether we're working from home or from the office, catching up on your sleep, absolutely makes you a better person. I just think when I don't sleep well, I'm on edge and like, then I'm not as nice of a person Then I'm not as, you know, um, warm of a person and we all want to be our best selves. So do you avoid alcohol to help sleep? Yes. Unfortunately, the truth is I do track my sleep very regularly. I wear my aura ring. I see what's going on. And unfortunately, the later you eat, or if you drink, you don't sleep as well. So even if it's one glass of wine, it affects your sleep. It's really sad news. It's not what I wanna hear because I do love wine, but balance, just not maybe every day or when you wanna catch up on your sleep, eat earlier, like six, you know, try to eat by six, eat light. Don't eat super heavy red meat or super carb filled meals. If you eat kind of lighter, it's easier to digest and then you sleep better. Um, 
drink lots of water throughout the day, but not like a ton right before you go to bed. So you don't have to wake up and pee at night because that wakes you up and really affects and disrupts your sleep also. Have a cup of tea. Just try to do as many things that you can throughout the day that are calming. You know, I'm still saying you can have energy sustained throughout the day. You can still get everything done. You can still be a busy body person, but sort of do whatever you can to stay calm. So light some candles, light some incense, make a cup of tea, enjoy that while you're working. Know that you have your 20 minute bath coming up later. Um, any other questions, guys, questions about the giveaway, how to enter the giveaway, questions about, I don't know, anything, routines, hair, questions, actually, let me ask you, um, for our next live, is there anything that you would love to hear me talk about or maybe show you? I'm seeing someone saying they like the coffee cup. This is actually one of my items that I put in the Vera Shop Live right now, so you can purchase it. It's not super expensive and it's really cute. And I just think this is such a nice way to drink. It's just like so adorable and pretty and functional. Um, I'm a coffee and a tea person. I do love coffee, but I actually sometimes do a packet like this and just like a little bit of coffee mixed with oat milk and water. So it has a little bit of both, but it's not too strong on the coffee. So I just don't like that, like super hyped up on coffee feeling. I think we think we're more like functional with it, but sometimes trying something like this, that's a little bit more of a calming scent, like, um, sustained energy throughout the day is much better for you. And then you're not re-upping and re-upping more and more caffeine and getting kind of like crazy. Am I right? And I'm not saying don't drink coffee. I love it. But just like maybe one glass, one cup, not five to 10, you know? Um, I wanted to say the candle that I put in there, I saw someone just grabbed it. It is one of my favorites. I love the scent. I love a black candle. I just love the way it looks. I think it's really pretty. I have those all around our house, whether it's on a side table, in the bathroom, around the bathtub, in the kitchen beside the sink. I'm just a huge fan, fan of a really pretty scented candle. So grab those. They're great. Um, yeah. Let me know, guys. Any other questions? Oh, right. So next time I am back here, ooh, what would you like to talk about? Dog stuff? Would you like um, my favorite pet items on Vera Shop? What would you like to discover? Would you like to know fall fashion? Okay, that's doable. We can do a little like try on fashion session. Um, I want this to feel interactive though. Like let me know oh, home decor also. I, there's some great home decor pieces and some great kitchen pieces that I found on Vera Shop. I really feel like I, I've discovered some new brands that I'm really big fans of and I, I love in our house. So. I actually did check out my page because I did a table setting that I'm sort of obsessed with. And now I can't wait to host dinner parties in our apartment because I got all these glassware, plates, bowls from Vera Shop, wine glasses, and it's so beautiful. So definitely check out what I've already shared. And maybe one day we'll do a table setting or kind of like a home decor live that we can go through. Um, yeah. Would love to see the table setting, Jessica. Yes, so go, uh, or it's on my page. So afterwards you can see it, but we can we can make it maybe one day or do variations for holiday. That could be fun. Sorry, this dog is like a baby and she can't, she doesn't like sitting beside me or near me. She likes to sit and sleep like on my chest. So there you go. <laughs> um, okay, any other questions? Do we have some newbies here? Should we get revamped, restarted, and talk about the best way to calm your nervous system and get you ready for bed to have the best sleep ever. And I want to say, like, I sleep like a lump, which is the best thing to do. When you wake up and you're like, damn, I just slept hard, you know, like that was really, really great. That's the best feeling. So take a bath. I'm telling you, Add your bath oil, get your skin feeling great. Add your bath salts, get your body feeling hydrated from the outside, sweat out all the toxins, calm, collected. It's the best. Um, light your candles, check out the candle I added here. It is one of my favorite. 
check out cinnamon projects. It's one of my new favorites that I discovered on Vera shop incense, incense holders. They're really clean and chic and beautiful and functional. Um, they smell great and make yourself a cup of tea. Grab this glass. Actually. I really love this teacup. It's so cute with a saucer. Have this as part of your daily routine, make a cup of tea, bring it to your desk, have a glass of coffee, a cup of coffee, whatever you want. Give yourself a daily ritual that just feels good. Mm -hmm. I also put in, so I've been really into drinking this Four Sigmatic. This, there's, I'm drinking Perform now because I'm going to a basketball game, so I need to keep my energy levels up. Uh, there's a Calm one. There's a, there's a, a Think one. So depending on what you're kind of looking for in the day, they taste great. I have my milk frother. I put one on here that I love. It's just really easy to bring around. It takes up no space in your kitchen. So you can just froth your milk and it makes the whole kind of tea ceremony situation just feel kind of like more special than just some hot water. Um, I highly recommend that. And just kind of giving yourself the time to, to unwind and have those best sleeps so that you're your best self because no one is their best self when they have not slept well. That can be painful. Um, okay, so we are giving away three items. Someone is going to be the lucky winner. We're going to have one winner tonight. All you need to do is watch this live, which you are right now. I hope that's why you're participating. Um, and just leave a comment. That's all you do to enter. And then at the end of the live stream, Shop will choose the winner. Um, if you haven't commented already, please comment now. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products that I've been talking about, let me know. Um, I'm only putting my favorites out here. I'm really only talking to products that I really believe in and that I, that I've purchased or discovered or, you know, found on Vera shop. And I really believe in this whole brand and company and all the products that I found there. So trust me, not bringing you any bad recommendations, only the best, <laughs> Um, let me know what you want to hear next. Let me know what you want to talk about. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think here. What else can I share with you? Have you mostly all been here the whole time? Is there any, um, any questions? If we're going to do like a rapid fire, we got two minutes. What do you want to know? Go ham. You can ask anything as I sip on my tea and my really adorable little teacup. <laughs> for everyone who gets dry skin or who just wants to take care of their skin and you know what the more hydrated it is the better it is for anti-aging so I think we're all wanting to benefit from that side effect of this situation take a nice warm bath 20 minutes and add this bath oil um Oh, we have a question. What would make a good holiday gift? So in fact, I think what would make a really nice holiday gift, a lot of people get really stressed during the holidays. A lot of people get really tense. You know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of planning. There's a lot, a lot of shopping and maybe actually making a little gift set, do a bath oil, a bath salt, a candle, maybe the incense, um, Maybe buy someone a book that you like that you recommend. I'm reading a really good one right now. It's called The Rose Code by Kate Quinn. I really highly recommend it. It's a Second World War book. Brilliant. It's kind of about Enigma, which is the movie um, that Benedict Cumberbatch won the best actor for. Um, the Imitation Game is about. So check that out. But I think if you make someone just kind of like a set of the bath oil, the bath salts, and it's a more personalized also if you kind of create this. So I'm giving you my recommendations of sort of my favorite pieces to relax, put a personal touch on it, you know, like write a little gift certificate card or, or a little explanation of how they kind of create their night with this, maybe add their favorite chocolate bar or a CBD cream or whatever you kind of you think the person might love. There's so many great options on Vera shop. Everything I'm talking about right now, you can shop, but doing a little set, maybe candle, bath oil, bath salt, a little tea, an incense, a book. I think it's something that maybe not everyone does for themselves the way they should, but if it's put in front of them and they just have that available, that they would do it. So I think that might be a really nice gift that now I'm going to start making for people. 
I really love a personal touch gift. So if you wrap it and write a little card that you picked all the favorite items that you love, I think that's really special. Um, it's been a pleasure, guys. I actually am going to have to head and go straight to the basketball game that starts real soon. Um, looking forward to next time. Share with me, comment on you know, my post and let me know what you guys want to hear, what you want to talk about next time. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Bye guys.